Hey, this is Andy Grist. Uh, we're progressing off um, off to our next video, um, talking about uh, the attacking runs and, and uh, checking runs back to receive the ball, and then the possible combinations from there. The last video we were talking and showing us passing the back to these forwards, making outside runs, opening up channels to attack on the inside, and finding ways if there's no way to attack that we can combine with the other forward. Now, the next video, and we did discuss this at practice, um, was actually what happens when we are um, in our half of the field. And the difference is, obviously, when we're attacking in front of the goal, there's not a lot of spaces to attack in behind their defensive line. So getting in behind is, is a very difficult thing to do. Anytime we can put penetrate and put the ball into the space for us to run onto, it's going to be... a it's going to be a lot better than actually playing to feet and having that player then have to beat that player. So always trying to penetrate space in behind the defense is, a, is the objective if we're trying to get it to somebody that can score. So if we were actually attacking the other way, and these are now our defenders and this is our attacker, okay, and these are still midfielders, now we've got all this space. And this is where the other team is, becomes vulnerable. And so now we're trying to still make our runs outside if possible. Okay, still trying to create space, ideally trying to create a passing lane that we can put the ball through into this spa space along the floor for this other forward to be running through and hopefully create a scoring opportunity. And, um, you know, if you can't put it along the floor, it said, can I take my first touch inside and then put the ball into here, whether it, you need to put backspin uh, or put it with some pace, you know, we'll work on those skills um, going through practice. But uh, this is something we need to be conscious of. How can we get the ball into here? Now, unfortunately, a lot of players may struggle to, to actually play a 20-yard 20, 20 ball, and they're still working on that with their leg strength and such. And we're still trying to build on that. But, you know, we right now, if we cannot play that ball, especially if you can see this player, it's going to be on their left foot. They're not going to be able to put it onto their right and play that with that defender there. They're going to have to keep it over onto their left-hand side and playing a left foot across. If it was over here, great it'd be on our right foot and we may have a greater potential of being able to play that ball so now we need to combine by setting the ball back to these players who can then directly put the ball in playing it out to these players who can directly put the ball back in so our midfield is stepping up to support so that we can then start an attack through them into that forward on this side of the field now you know we don't want these players here uh, dropped off so that we're giving that player a five yard head start to get to that ball. Unless you're timing your run so that you're getting a flying start and so you're running past this player as the ball is getting played so you're in an onside position. So it's a matter of timing, bang, okay, and then me going through as the ball is coming through and onto there. So, you know, that's okay to drop off as long as you are running past this player as the ball is being played and not just giving them a five yard head start to get to that ball. So we're going to work on these skills and discuss this again, um, and, but mostly is on how to play it again out of the back, um, our shape, and then how to combine to create attacks in front of goal and when we're in our half of the field.